Okay. This is a video about what happened to the diff on my Wheelie King. Um, as you will see in the video before this, I thought it was something minor. But it turns out like three things happened at once. The diff screws came loose. And there's a tooth missing. Now the strange thing about this is it was working like this. There's an itty bitty little tiny piece of tooth left at the top. And that's what it was popping on. So if I used like quarter or half throttle the diff would work normally and ride on that little tiny piece of gear that's left and then if I punched it it would skip so what I think happened so just throw that out of your head for right now broken pinion thing or whatever you want to call it here is the tooth off of that gear okay so that tooth is gone that's the only tooth that came off that gear now, I don't know if you can see... Yeah, you can see it somewhat. You see all this? Chunks of aluminum. And there's more. More chunks of aluminum. So, what I think happened is... I guess I forgot to clean the diff casing when I replaced my aluminum diff. So there was a bunch of, yeah, gear pieces left over. And I think one of the pieces got jammed in this gear, and that's what broke the tooth off. because it was making weird popping noises before but it wasn't slipping and I tried to figure out what the popping noises were and I couldn't figure it out now I know what it was, it was chunks of friggin aluminum going through my diff gears so yeah I'm sure it wasn't too happy about that so again we have breakage but again it was my fault so there is one ruined, hardened diff pinion, or whatever you want to call it. So, unfortunately, that is garbage. But fortunately, this side is perfect. Not a scratch. So, I'll order another set which means I'll get another one of these and another one of those ones that I broke so I'll have a spare one of these hardened outer gears and it cleaned all the metal chunks out of this because there was a few chunks inside the divots in the gears I can't believe there was that much leftover metal from my old diff I thought I got it all out but <laughs> chunks everywhere I can't believe it but anyway so the Wheelie King can take the torque, as far as I can tell. Cause like I said, I didn't even know that that gear broke. I thought something came apart and it was slipping. But no, like I said, I think something got wedged in there, like an old tooth from the aluminum gear, and broke it off. So, unfortunately, that's like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. But, now that I know that, I cleaned out the casing, there are no more aluminum pieces. It is completely clean, and once I get some new gears, which won't be long, because I'm just going to throw the... because I have the same exact set in the front, so I'm probably just going to take the set out of the front for now, throw it in the back, and uh, it should be fine now that there's no 
friggin' aluminum chunks bouncing around inside of my diff. Yeah, that sucks. So remember that if you strip a diff, make sure you check for leftover teeth. <laughs> they were all hiding in my grease. That's why you see these great big grease smears. Because I had to pull the grease out and make sure I was getting all the bits out. So it's like completely empty now. Scraped out all the grease and the metal pieces. Make sure it's nice and clean for the new gears. And it needs new bearings too. I noticed this top bearing the top bearing right there is a little bit loose. So that might have caused it too. Or not caused it, but it might have made it a little bit worse. So that's it. So I'm pretty sure that was my fault leaving aluminum pieces in the in the casing here. I didn't realize it literally powderized my old diff and left pieces everywhere. But there you go. So it won't be too long before she's back up and running. Like I said, I'm just going to switch the front diff to the back, since I only have rear wheel drive right now anyway. I have to wait till next week. So, give it a... Uh, I should have it back up and running by Tuesday. Because I'm going to take out the nitro tomorrow and probably play with it all day tomorrow. See if I can break something on that beast. <laughs> I'm sure something will. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated.